I have another book from the Search Press 10 Step Drawing Series. This is Dogs by Justine. Draw over 50 delightful dogs in 10 easy steps. Now I think these are by far the easiest books to use of the step-by-step -step learn to draw books because you've got really clear illustrations and you have written instructions as well. Now this book covers basic shapes and poses, proportions, faces and features, different breeds of dog, shows them at rest and in motion. It also includes some puppies. It's got basic advice on colouring with pencils and it's suitable for anyone new to the subject. So this is a fairly small format book, 128 pages, very easy to carry around with you. So we see in here we have the contents which is faces and features, dogs at rest, dogs in motion and dogs and puppies. The introduction mentions cut tackling different shapes. We've got basic equipment following the steps, basic colouring advice. It does mention watercolour but the author suggests a good set of coloured pencils. Uh, you just need about 24 shades to start with and some uh, graphite pencils eraser, pencil sharpener and paper so you don't need a lot of stuff to start. Now this book covers all the popular breeds of dog and we start off with the head, various poses, then we have eyes and nose and ears. We have all the popular breeds. You can see very clear instructions here. The illustrations are really easy to see. You can see how you're building up by step by step. Your finished illustration is in colour and it shows you the shades you will need. So we're going to flip through this book quite quickly just to give you an idea of all the different lovely dogs in here. Now sometimes people will tell you you can't draw animals or people without learning anatomy. But when you're starting to draw, anatomy can be really daunting and a book like this is really easy to use. And you can always go on and you can learn anatomy at a later date. Now this book doesn't like to stay open on its own so if I was drawing from it myself I'd weigh it down so that I could keep the page open. I think with time it will become flatter. But I do think it's a lovely little book. So you've got lots of variety of dogs here. There's a few that I didn't even know, but you do have all the popular dogs. So you'll be able to practice and you don't have to work through this book from start to finish this is the really good thing about these books it's not a work through one step at a time you can just pick the dogs you're interested in you don't have to do this in any order so we've got the dogs in motion here lots of different poses i love this running one this is really brilliant dogs running is always really difficult to know where to place the legs little West Highland White Terrier, that's really cute. But you can see this is very simply done. I really like the variety in this book. I think this is a brilliant little book to start out with. And then we have nicely a little section on puppies. Now often when children first want to draw dogs it's because they have a new puppy and what a wonderful companion book to have along so you could draw your puppy and continue drawing your dog as it grows up. So there we go. Lovely little book. I do think this is a brilliant little series. There's books on most subjects, really well worth having a look at.